Hi, welcome to another video by Plop Info. Sleep is a state where awareness to environmental stimuli is reduced. Sleep is different from states of coma, hibernation and death by the fact that it can be rapidly reversed. Sleep was once considered an inactive or passive state in which both the body and the brain turned off to rest and recuperate from the day's waking activities. In 1929, an invention that enabled scientists to record brain activity challenged this way of thinking. From recordings known as electroencephalograms or E, researchers could see that sleep was a dynamic behavior, one in which the brain was highly active at times and not turned off at all. The two main types of sleep are rapid eye movement, REM sleep and non-rapid eye movement, and REM sleep. Once the sleep sets in, there are four stages of sleep. Each of the stages is almost distinct, and forms a cycle of sleep. These cycles tend to repeat more than once every night as the person sleeps. Stage 1N1, this stage is essentially the dozing off stage, and it normally lasts just 1 to 5 minutes. During this stage, the body hasn't fully relaxed, but the body and brain activities start to slow. Stage 2N2, during stage 2, the body enters a more subdued state including a drop in temperature, relaxed muscles and slowed breathing and heart rate. Stage 3N3, stage 3 sleep is also known as deep sleep, and it is harder to wake someone up if they are in this phase. Muscle tone, pulse, and breathing rate decrease in N3 sleep as the body relaxes even further. Stage 4 REM, during REM sleep, brain activity picks up, nearing levels seen when you're awake. At the same time, the body experiences atonia, which is a temporary paralysis of the muscles, with two exceptions, the eyes and the muscles that control breathing. The first sleep cycle is often the shortest, ranging from 70 to 100 minutes, while later cycles tend to fall between 90 and 120 minutes. Animals have different sleep cycles compared to humans. The daily need for sleep is highest in carnivores, lower in omnivores and lowest in herbivores. The length of a particular sleep cycle is associated with the size of the animal. On an average, bigger animals will have sleep cycles of longer durations than smaller animals. The cycles of REM sleep also vary across species. The sleep in case of mammals, just like humans can be divided into light sleep, deep sleep and REM sleep. Birds too like mammals have REM and NREM sleep. The amount of REM sleep varies widely depending on the species. Because elephants sleep so little, REM sleep doesn't happen daily for them. In contrast, house cats can spend up to 8 hours a day in REM sleep. Sleep disorders affect people across the globe. Adults, who get less than 7 hours of sleep every night are more likely to suffer from health complications such as heart disease, type 2 diabetes, obesity, stroke, high blood pressure etc. Many sufferers of sleep disorders are not identified until other medical problems become apparent, meaning that they are less likely to make lifestyle changes that could improve their condition without the need for treatment. With the increased prevalence of sleep disorders, there is also drastic development in the field of sleep technology. While tests like polysomnography are used to diagnose sleep disorders, many companies have come up with gadgets that not only diagnose sleep disorders, but are also instrumental in providing guidance and assistance in improvement of sleep quality. With the help of innovative technology today there are gadgets like implantable devices, sleep monitors, wearable devices, digital apps which are non-invasive and provide testing in the comfort of homes. The latest entrant to the club is an AI developed by researchers from the University of Sheffield in the UK, which can effectively monitor a person's snoring levels and identify sleep disorders. These new developments enable faster diagnosis, thereby making it easy for the patients to start the treatments early. Do you get quality sleep every night? If not, will you be open to use of technology to diagnose the disorder or underlying medical condition? We would love to hear your thoughts on the same. 